problems with a typical American family. Deep in debt, no money in savings, and no plan for their financial future. All that changed when they hit financial rock bottom in December of 2009. Today, Melissa is a personal financial coach, speaker, and author. She speaks to share her story of overcoming debt and managing money well to pursue her dreams. In this speech, Melissa will share the one quote that guides her personal and professional life and hopes to inspire you to dream big and be confident that your dreams will come true. Her speech title is Dream Big, Go. Five to seven minutes, please welcome Melissa. Good afternoon. It's always a, a privilege for me to stand in front of a group of people and share my story because it's an important story about lessons that are learned, and it's an important story about not letting anything stand in the way of your goals and dreams. Henry David Thoreau said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you imagined. Go is a directive. If someone walked in that door and said go, all of you would get up and go out that door without any questions asked, because it's a command, it's a directive, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. Go is an action word, which means you have to take actionable steps in order to go. Going confidently, however, is an entirely different circumstance. Think of the first time you ever got a smartphone. I don't know about you, but I felt really dumb. <laughs> I remember the first time I got a smartphone standing in the Verizon store asking the person, how do I just answer a phone call? Because if I can start there, I can figure, I can read the manual, I can figure out everything else. I was not confident at all. Now, I can answer my smartphone without even looking at the phone. The phone rings, I just pick it up, swipe and go. I can check my email on it, I can do my calculator, I can check all my social media, and I'm very confident in knowing how to do all those things. When you have a goal or you have a dream, a lot of people start out with, I have a dream, and they complete that statement, whatever your dream is. My dream is to meet Elton John. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. The problem is, the sentence that comes after that. So if you think, I have a dream that, fill in the blank, most people go, oh, but I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't know how it's going to happen, and they never go in the direction of the dream. My life's mission is to stop people from doing that. I want you to have dreams. I want you to have goals. And I want you to be confident in going towards making those dreams and goals a reality. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. So you have to know what your dream is. You have to go in that direction, whatever that direction is. You'll figure out the people that you want to meet. You'll figure out the time. You'll figure out the money. But you have to go in order to start making things happen. Hoping and wishing won't make your dream come true. You have to take the actionable steps to make it happen. Live the life you imagined. That's the second part of that quote. How do you know what life you have imagined living in? Well, you can start with what happens to a lot of my clients in the financial coaching space. When they call me to make an appointment and they say, I never imagined I would be in this situation. And I get that because 10 years ago, I never imagined that we would be $43,000 in debt, that we would be living paycheck to paycheck, that we would have no plan for our financial future, that I put my dream on hold because I didn't have the time or the money to go to Elton John concerts because let's face it, he's not gonna come to my house in Southport, North Carolina and say, hey, hey, I've heard you wanted to meet me, here I am. In order for me to meet Elton, I have to go to the concert. In order to go to the concert, I have to have the time and the money to be able to travel because, again, he's not coming to Southport. He's not coming to Wilmington. 
He goes to places like Charlotte, Atlanta, New York City, Vegas, all those places that I've been to see him. Ten years ago, I had only been to 11 Elton John concerts, and last November, I went to my 47th Elton John concert. I'm this close to meeting him. <laughs> now, I know. <laughs> But at the concert in Atlanta, I made this great big sign that said, this is my 47th concert, and Elton recognized it from the stage. I took video to prove it, because the guy behind me happened to be videoing. But that's a different speech for a different day. As I pursued my dream to meet Elton, I met people who have met him before. So I'm confident that my dream will come true. Because if it came true for those people, it'll come true for me as well. As I pursued my dream to meet Elton John, I knew that I had to get out of debt so that I could have the money to travel to the concerts. As I pursued my dream, I knew that I had to have the time to be able to travel, which meant that I couldn't be in a standard nine to five job. I had to become an entrepreneur so that I could have the time freedom and then also have the money and then also be able to help support my family. Going confidently in the direction of your dreams takes some time and takes some practice. But if you'll do it, if you'll go take the actionable steps, you will live the life that you've imagined.